morning, Creator. How are we doing today on this Monday? Last Monday of June already. Month is almost over. Can you believe it? It's going to be the 4th of July on Saturday, and I'd love to hear about all your plans for the 4th. So comment below what you're up to this weekend. I believe um, my kids and their families are coming over for the day. And maybe I'm trying to talk my mom and dad into heading over this way. Um, they don't really like to drive in the city too much, but usually we'll meet them on the outskirts and get them over here with their car. So um, that's kind of our plans. Hopefully that'll work out. So let me know what you're going to be doing on the 4th. I'm going to just check my uh, camera angle here, make sure we're okay. Looks all right. Feeling kind of frumpy today. <laughs> My hair is a mess. I can't get it cut for another week, so it's kind of bugging me. But we are going to finally make my patriotic banner. Um, it's going to go across my fireplace mantle, um, and I'm going to show you that here in a minute. What we are going to uh, use for inspiration for that. And if you would like to comment and share, I would love to say hello to you. Hi, Ron. Hi, Donna. Hello. Hi, Joanne. Thanks for watching today. And um, I guess we could just get started, right? I'm going to put my um, iPad up here so I can look over and see your comments. And um, I haven't really set out an exact design for these. I just thought maybe I'd do it on the fly. Um, I did want to show you this jacket. I did. I, I left my purple one upstairs. I've already w wore it, worn it. I've worn it. <laughs> Here's the back side, and this is the front side. So we inked that last week. We inked two jackets, um, both using the boho floral and um, chocolate logos. Um, but in a different way on each one. So the other jacket is kind of a plum color, I guess. So I actually still have to heat set them, but I went ahead and, and wore the, um, the, the plum one briefly. All right, so um, we're gonna use these banners. These little uh, five by seven canvas banners are available on my chalk site. I guess I should introduce myself for the newbies out there. I'm Robin Schmidt, um, an independent chocolate tour designer. I live in Omaha area, uh, Omaha, Nebraska right now, but I'm originally from Iowa, born and raised on a farm. Uh, we had lived in Centerville for the longest time, um, over 20 years, where I owned my own gift shop, home decor. It had coffee, lunch, fudge. Um, and then uh, on the second floor we had hotel suites. So it was a busy business called Tangleberries and that has now been sold and is reopened back in Centerville. So pretty excited about that. Um, my website is chocatour.com slash Odessa Rose. But now I am an independent chocatour designer and I love to create and sell my designs. I have the shop on my page that you can go to. And some of my designs are on there. Some of them are out, most of them are out at, um, at the shop, The Attic. It's called The Attic in Valley, Nebraska. It's just a few miles from my home and that's where I sell my designs also. And I also carry a couple retail lines out there too. So um, it's kind of a co-op shop. We have different, um, I think we're all ladies. Um, have different product in there. Some are handcrafted, some are just retail, wholesale items, and then we take turns working there. And so I worked there on Thursday and Saturday last week, and, then, and I think on Saturday I did a live show in the store. So if you want to go to my Dessa Rose page, you can watch that, or even check out the Attic's Facebook page. It's the Attic in Valley, Nebraska. Of course, there's several addicts uh, the addicts on Facebook so make sure you find the one in Valley Nebraska and um, you can see the store so it's really really a beautiful store we have lots of fun and unique items because some of our stuff is handcrafted hand repainted uh, 
furniture pieces and so it's always changing and it's just a neat store. So these are the little pendants that you can buy uh, on the website. They come with a little stick and a little string of twine. And I think I'm going to quickly press them all out so they're nice and flat when we go to uh, chalk on them. Plus, we want them to hang. We want them to be nice and flat. So I'm just going to unwind them all here. And we'll press them out real quick before we start chopping. So good morning, Anne. Good morning, Megan. Carrie, hello. Say hi if you're watching. Maybe you're just passing through, swiping through and, and seeing it, but. All right, Karen, hello. So, yeah, you probably saw in the comments, I'm making this in metallics because last year, I made this on a marble tile and it's just done in metallics, the gold, silver, and the bronze. And I think I even made a darker gray, mixed like some black and with some silver and made the darker colors. Uh, but I did this in the black and I'm gonna make the banner in the same colors so it all coordinates on my fireplace. And I can kind of keep it up a while and it won't seem so 4th of July-ish. But eventually, probably tomorrow's live, these are all my patriotic <laughs> transfers. I'm going to wash this board off. This is the Easter one. I'm going to wash it off and do one of our larger patriotic ones on here, also in the metallics and white or off-white. So <clears throat> that will be tomorrow's project. So that will go up there on the mantle along with the, um, the banner and the uh, sign I just showed you. So watch for that tomorrow. Okay, so we're gonna do five of these, I believe. And we're also gonna add some ribbons and maybe some strips of, uh, the, I have like an off-white bandana so we'll cut that into strips and we'll kind of make it a rag garland plus a pennant garland. We'll combine it. So yeah, hi Carrie, how are you? Hope you're having a good day. All right, let's get rid of the trash. You can buy these individually, you don't have to buy, you know, like six of them or anything. You can buy just one and make a little mini pennant. Like I said, they come with a string. The little stick has the holes in it to string the string through. Um, but I can't decide if I'm going to use the sticks or just use one long um, string. I think I want to still use the sticks. But what, I haven't tied them together, obviously, to see how they're going to turn out. So... But I do want to press them and get them nice and flat. I have my easy press down here that just turned off because I wasn't using it. It's kind of nice having an automatic uh, turn off. So if you forget to turn it off, it will do it for you. And I don't want Celsius. I'm a Fahrenheit girl. <laughs> I don't know how to turn it back to Fahrenheit. There it goes. Whew. Probably pressing pretty well. Just I want to make sure that they hang nice and flat after we chalk on them. So I'm just going to press them out real quick. So tell me your plans for the fourth. Hopefully you can get together with some friends or family. So I think my kids are all going to be here. Our little neighborhood uh, playground is putting in a splash 
park, like a little water splash park. They say it's supposed to be ready by the 1st, but we walked by there yesterday and it doesn't look like it's going to be, but there's still a lot of dirt around it. Unless they could quickly landscape and lay the sod in, and maybe it'll be done by the end of the week. But they have brand new playground equipment and it's really nice for the grandkids. Well, at least three of them. The other one's only two weeks old. <laughs> Three of the four. Okay, we're getting these nice and flat. Do you all have an easy press? We are going camping this weekend. Awesome. This was like the original easy press. Now they have them in different sizes, different colors. But this does the trick for me. And where do you go camping, or where do you live, Donna? Oops, look what I did. I had it folded. I kind of made that funky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Try to get that out there. Pay attention, Robin. Pay attention. Hotter. I'm going to go over it one more time. Once you get them nice and pressed, they really um, stiffen up. They look really good. Now you could ink. You can use our Couture ink on our uh, canvases. But this is something I'm not going to wash, so I'm just going to use um, chalk paste, basically because it dries faster, so I can like do layers, okay? All right, another thing, another reason why, I, well, I had to wash the kids Friday, so I was going to, hoping to come on live Friday, and these, this package was supposed to arrive on Thursday. But it didn't. It didn't show up till Friday. So that was another reason why I didn't even... Plus I had the kids here. I had um, Hank and Vivian. So we'll see what's in this package. It's supposed to be Home of the Brave. It's supposed to be in here. There it is. And that's what I've been waiting on. Okay, I think that's everything. I just ordered some of the transfers I hadn't gotten in yet that I wanted. Especially this one. This this piece, this is all one transfer, and this would be beautiful on our big 18-inch square. But you can use elements of it. Like just use maybe you just want to use the fourth of July on something. Or home of the brave, like right here. On a board. But you or just the flag. Or parts of the flag. So um, that's a great one. I hadn't had this one yet, another big 18 inch square, um, fresh produce locally grown. I think this is really going to be great for the fall, like with pumpkins. And I finally got the, this is like for porch boards, you know, that lean up against the house. And I got a couple boards the other night and yesterday I stained them. I'm going to put stain on them this time, um, I'm going to do the welcome. These are where you can change the O out. You can use the flower. And then for the different seasons, heart, clover, Easter egg, star for the 4th of July, snowflake, and a jack-o'-lantern. So you can like put welcome, and then on the O you can use these things. You can uh, make them on individual boards where it's in a little hook or a magnet system that you can just change them out for the seasons. So that's what that, that is all about. So actually I'm going to be doing those this week too, after we get done with the this uh, patriotic stuff. So I'm going to leave this one out, and I definitely want to put this flag on, and I'm kind of thinking um, 
Every other one is going to be similar. So three are going to be similar, and then the other two are going to be different. And another thing I wanted to find is my stars. I just love my stars. These stars right here. Homespun stars. Because you can just create your own patterns with them. So I might need those. I probably should have thought this through because then you don't have to um, watch me think. <laughs> Which can be like, come on lady, get on with it. <laughs> Good morning, Barbara. Donna, you live in upstate New York and we camp in the Adirondack Mountain Adirondack Mountains. I've never been there. I bet it's beautiful. But it's beautiful. Guess what I'm doing um, for ChopCon for all you designers on here. Uh, we were planning, of course, to go to Florida. My husband was going to go with me, and then the co convention got canceled in Florida. So we decided to go ahead and take our vacation, and we were going to head up to Jackson Hole. Uh, so I got a hold of Becky Jensen. She's a designer up there, and she was planning a uh, get-together for anybody who wanted to come in Idaho Falls, uh, I was supposed to say Idaho, Iowa, because I'm from Iowa. Idaho Falls, Idaho. And they're getting together, her team and some of her people are getting together. So I'm going to join them while we are up there on Friday and Saturday, the 10th and 11th of July. So I think that'll be fun. We're going to chalk and watch the convention now that it's, uh, it's going to be um, virtual, online, so we can watch the classes and the presentations and the awards and all that stuff. So we're all going to watch it together. I think that'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it. But we're going to actually fly. Now we're going to fly into Salt Lake City. I'm going to check out Salt Lake City. I've never been there. And then we're going to head up to up, up north. We're going to rent a car and we'll head up there and sightsee. And John wants to fly fish, hopefully, while I'm at the convention. So we're going to get that all figured out. Um, so I'm just looking at all the elements I have that are patriotic here and see what else I want to do on, I'm going to pull out some stars. I don't want to overly words because I don't have words up on the mantle. So I, I just kind of want stars and stripes and fireworks and such. So here's a bunch of fireworks, some stripes stars. So we'll leave the wording up to above the mantle and then on the flags we'll do uh, just um, yeah star stripes and fireworks I think. So I'm just going to go through and see what elements I like out of these patriotic transfers that I've been collecting over the last two years. I don't think I, mean, I, will, I can pull this one out, but I probably have enough fireworks. I don't think I want any words, so I think I'll... This might be the one I might put on the on this chalkboard that I showed earlier. It's um, Stars and Strikes. Or this one, if it fits. Okay. Oh, I might. What was the... I was trying to see if there was a little... I thought I saw a small 4th of July. That one's kind of big. Happy 4th might be kind of cute. No, I don't want it to be referring to the 4th because I might leave it up for the, you know, for a while after the 4th. So, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Make a decision. Let's, let's move on, Robin. <laughs> okay, let's get this out. That sounds fun. I was going to do convention as well. Our plane tickets are not, uh, so I'm planning to go to Florida. Yeah, we were able to, well, we could have just gotten a refund, 
And we started to do that, and then we decided to fly and rent a car because we went through Southwest vacations, so we could just do something different. Of course, we we bought the um, travel protection in case it did get canceled, so it worked out. Okay. Um, I'm trying to say I'm going to make all like three of these like this, or for sure one. So let's do one, and let's get out our metallics. We've got copper. We have new copper in case we need it because that was about gone. I think that's it for that. Um, I thought gold should have been in there. Let me see if I can find silver. And then we definitely need black. Here's gold and black. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to peel this back and lay my little um, banner right. I might actually just lay it on top this way and then flip it over. But I think I can line it up better. And then I gotta decide if I want to start the stars way up to the top or down where it's past the um, seam so it's more smooth there which I might do so I have a nice print without having to deal with the seam. Okay, so I'm just sticking it to there. And now I'm going to flip it back over. Lay it flat. Okay, I think we'll just do gold and black on this one. Stripes will be in black, and we'll do the stars in the gold. So you're still gonna go ahead and see. We're still gonna go to Florida and stay at our timeshare. I plan to meet up with one of my team members whom I have not personally met. Yeah, I haven't met any of these people. And then when when Becky saw that I was coming, she wants me to help. Um, you know, do make and takes and uh, you know, teach them some of my techniques and all that good stuff. So that'll be fun. Okay, I'm going to put the gold on the stars here. You know, when you're chalking or inking on canvas, you kind of have to go over it a few times because it, especially the ink, it gets absorbed down into the fabric. And, um, but then again, you don't want to go over it a bunch because you can start to shift the, shift the transfer on the uh, canvas. So you want to just hold on to it really well and. Make sure that the transfer is not shifting on you. So don't press overly hard because that can shift the transfer. So just press lightly and you'll be fine. I'm still trying to get the extra off there. Okay, perfect. Now, probably should lift up just so that it doesn't um, stick to the transfer. And then I can also see there's some lighter areas of the glitter that didn't quite go through. So I might. Press it back down and add a little bit more. 
of the glitter chalk paste here. I don't care if it's a little bit uneven in the in the print because it kind of gives it that vintage look when it's not completely solid. But that one area was really light right in there. So I'm going to just go ahead and go over it again. Okay. And then it was kind of up against that seam of the pocket. So I'm just going to go over it. And I'll check it again. There, that's better. Okay. So now let's do the stripes. I'll grab another squeegee for the black. I should give it a little mix. Make sure we're at the consistency we want, which is a nice, nice soft yogurt consistency so you can just put it on nice and smooth like this and take it right down to the over the hem and everything I'm just checking my fingertips to make sure they're not full of unwanted paste. Okay, so there's our first one. Doo -doo. That's cute. I'm now I'm thinking, do I want to make three of these exactly the same? Or should I change up the, like, I could do stripes going this way and stars coming down here or something different. Gotta decide, I gotta decide. I'm gonna lay this over here so it can dry. I think I want consistency, so I think I'm gonna make them all the same. Which might be kind of boring to watch, but I think it'll look prettier. I don't want it to be overly busy up on the um, up on the mantle. So let's do it again. I'm gonna try to do it again without washing the transfer. We'll see how it turns out. Otherwise, I may have to wash it for the third one, and I can do that off camera. That's no big deal. Okay, so let's go over this again with the gold. that chalk plate paste that has glitter in it pushed down through that silk screen and onto my canvas I guess I'll check it. Let's see. If it's not the best, I might have to wash it and go over it. So it's not as, um, like it didn't come through really well right up in here, a couple areas. And it could just be because it's full of glitter right now. So I probably will wash it and just lay it on top of it again. But we'll go ahead and do the stripes. And then I can always do the same thing with that. If I need to.
pull this one out. So I'm going to, after I wash this, I'll lay it on top again, match up the stars, and just go over the, go over it one more time so this fills in better. And the stripes didn't do too bad. It's a little light right there. But sometimes that worn vintage look is kind of cool. So eventually I'll make three of these. And then um, I'll do, I'm going to do three and then do, we'll do two with, um, uh, fireworks and stars in the other two. So let's work on those. And we'll let's set this aside. And I need to wash my hands. Good morning, Karen. Hi, Tantha. How's everyone doing? Let us know what you're doing over the 4th of July. I think we're just having uh, kids over and doing a cookout and and uh, there'll be fireworks all around us because they're illegal in Nebraska and everybody lights fireworks, like nice ones. <laughs> so you can watch the fireworks off of our deck. Okay, so let's just If the other three are are identical, then these two probably should be fairly identical also. I'm just going to make them, as my kindergartner granddaughter would say, we're making a pattern. <laughs> stars and stripes, for fireworks, stars and stripes, fireworks, stars and stripes. She was really into patterns probably a year ago or so. Learning about patterns. So if I put this on here. And we could do one in copper, one in gold, and one in silver. that one ready because we'll do this one the same. A little silver, we'll get a little copper out here. Copper, silver, gold. I'm trying to think if we have any, um, I already forgot which transfer these are out of. I think there's fireworks in the uh, vintage truck add-ons. Might have been where these came from. But as far as finding a transfer that has fireworks. that and I need gold this one
turned out really cute. Check that out. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing on this one. See, let me kind of line that up the same. Again. I'm just trying to press the the uh, transfer down. But since there's already got paste on it, you kind of have to do it with the squeegee. So you know, if you if you uh, haven't watched much chalking, that these transfers are reusable. So we just wash them in water, let them dry, and put them back on those backer sheets that I peeled off the paper, and put them back on that, and then you could store them and reuse them again. That's why I like on this chalkboard that I'm going to do tomorrow um, on the live that you can just wash it off because it's water soluble. As long as you don't seal it in, you can wash off your chalk paste and repurpose your sign for another holiday or everyday sign, whatever you want to put on it. So they're reusable. And especially our chalk tour surfaces are really easy to wash off our, our um, chalkboards by chalk tour. They are designed for repurposing, so the chalk paste comes off of those super easy. And you can just redesign on them. Now I do offer classes. It's kind of hard to do in them right now because of COVID. Um, but if you're interested in becoming a chalk tour designer and want to do sell our transfers and our products or conduct classes or maybe you just want to enjoy the um, wholesale pricing let me know and I'll tell you all about that okay so there's that one so I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, I have a tub of water here I'm gonna go ahead and put that transfer in the water since it'll fit in my tub okay so the idea Oh, I know. I was going to put some stars on it. We're going to go like every other. I want to bring in a little bit of black into this. So, I'm going to go to my homespun stars. And I like these little outlines. Maybe I just have one outline. This outline star. I was thinking there was a smaller one, but maybe there isn't. And I might just kind of put like three stars and do those in black just to tie in the black. So it has a little bit more rhythm as you look across. You're not like wondering why there, why there isn't black on this one. So which one did I just do? I just did that one. So hopefully this is dry. I'm just going to... I'll do one kind of going off and then down here. So this is just take a little bit of black just to tie in the color theme.
the edge right there, which I'll probably be able to get that off once it dries. Okay, so there's kind of my stars incorporated into that. And then let's do it on this one. And grab me white. I managed to get chalk paste all over my fingers. I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. And I think I'm going to go ahead and clean this off before I... Oh man, just remember, my husband snagged my water bottle yesterday. I mean, I don't, I'm not complaining because he washed the windows, but we have a lot of lime or calcium deposits in our water, so the sprinklers system was um, leaving a lot of that calcium or lime or whatever it is on our windows, and it doesn't come off very easy. But he searched how to get it cleaned off on YouTube or someplace, and using, um, something vinegar and water and then baking so then he had like made a paste like with baking soda I don't know anyway he got the windows cleaned off and it all came off but um he couldn't find a spray bottle for the vinegar and water and he took my spray bottle from my desk imagine that and so it's upstairs in the sink in the kitchen I washed it and it's still up there and I forgot to bring it back down it's okay I I got my water here, so now I just need to dry this before I do it on the next, on this one here. I'm going to use the microfiber side of my towel and just press on it and get it dried up. My fingernails are full of, well, chalk paste now, but plus stain. I was wearing gloves, but cheapy gloves, and of course the stain went through and got on these two fingers. And you know that doesn't come off very easily. Okay, so let's do this again. I'm gonna do this one up here. I'm try to make them close to the same as possible. See how easy that chalk paste came off the transfer, so pretty easy to do. Our what we call our board erasers, which you'll see tomorrow when I wash that board off using a board eraser, those also work really excellent on our transfers to getting the chalk paste off if it kind of started to dry. little wing over here. down here. Try to get the star in the same pattern. going to lay something like that, but we're going to put strips of ribbons and fabric or whatever else in there. Good morning, Darla, Donna, and Molly. If you're all watching, say hello. Karen, I think I said hello to you already, didn't I? Okay, I'm just you know, got my hands in the water over here, getting that paste off. Okay. 
going to just try to show you how I'm going to string them and put some ribbon on them. And then um, i got to wash that big. i got to wash this off, and I'll do that in the sink when I'm off, off camera and finish it up. And then I'll finish stringing it all together, and you'll be able to see it. I'll take a photo of it. So I'm just going to kind of put my paste away so I'm not flopping anything into it. Making a mess. Okay, okay. So the question is, what did he use to stick to my? I think I'm going to slide those in. Let me use the one that's because I'm going to go over that again and make it a little bit sharper, like this one. Once I get that transfer washed, I'm going to go over it again and scrap the other stick. Okay, so they came with, each came with a string. So I'm going to put um, a string on each end here. You know what? I like to use my little handmade needle to thread these. You just take up, if you have some little bit of floral wire, and you just fold it in half, and it makes a great needle. So you just put your um, string through there, and then this becomes your needle, and you can just poke it right through the hole. And it just becomes easier to do. Okay. So I'm trying to decide. I've only got five strings, and I'm going to need one, two, three, four. I think I need six, but I have more twine. So um, let's see. Let's string these through. And then i got to figure out how far apart I want them. I think if I just take the ends and put them in a knot about like that, and that knot, knot will become part of my ribbons hanging down. So I'm going to tie the ribbon pieces to this string here. I actually went back through some of my, I used to do the boutonnieres and corsages for all my kids' uh, proms and um, homecomings. So I went through and pulled out the blacks and um, I have some gray here. This is from Blair's wedding. She actually did a metallic wedding. She did. Well, grays and coppers and gold colors, silvers, all the copper colors. And then kind of the non-shimmer colors, like this silver taupey color. So I think those will all be pretty hanging down. And I'm going to get some gold ribbons. And we're going to place those in between. And make it really sparkly. Here's some shimmer. This is fun. This little almost looks like sparklers. That will be a fun one. Um, especially what I have a lot of. This one's pretty. I think this was from a wedding or a prom also. 
Get any of these neutral colors. I'm just going to pull a bunch. Let me look that one. Let me see. Yeah, that's the cream color. And I even have some rickrack. And I pulled out some houndstooth or plaid. So you can get the idea. I'm just going to put some different ribbons in there. And I'm printing a whole bunch. Probably more than what I need. So you probably need a piece about, I think I'm going to um, just loop it down. So take a piece about this long. Maybe. There's different ways you can do it. You can slip knot it and the tails hang down or you can just tighten a knot and you got one on the top and one on the bottom. Uh, but I think on this one I'm going to have them all just going down. And so I need about this long. So this is how long all my pieces will be. And how long is that? That is 10 inches. So everything I've cut will be 10 inches. And then we're just going to um, slip knot it through. So it would be like this. I don't know if you call it slip knot, but this kind of a look. Except for it's on the wrong side. i got to figure out how to... <laughs> how to loop it so I get it right. Let's see. If I do this, I want them to come down that way. I thought that's what I did, but it ended up there. Like that. So I'm going to do a bunch of different ribbons hanging like this in between these. Um, banners. So we'll do a bunch of different ribbons and fabrics and then hang them down and I'll have five of these going across and then that will be my um, patriotic banner done in metallics and neutrals. So it's going to be something like that. So once I cut 10 inches of everything I will do that. I don't need to bore you with it, but you get the idea, and we'll just put a bunch of them on here. So I'm going to flip them up through this way, the two ends, bring them down and loop them through like that. And then I'm going to scrunch them up really tight so you get the idea. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. The rest of the day, I don't know, it won't take me too long, but I'll do that, and then I'll get it all done, and then I'll put it on my mantle. Well, I won't put it on my mantle until I get tomorrow. We're gonna on live. I'm gonna wash this off, this Easter one, and we're gonna do a patriotic board, and we're still gonna do it in the metallics, so that can set on my mantle with this. This is my inspiration piece. I made this last year all in black and metallics. So all these are going to coordinate on my mantle upstairs. And this, even this little set, even though it's not patriotic, I think it'll be cute setting amongst all of those pieces. So I'll probably put those on there too. And I could even do another little patriotic, like on this board, change this out and then I already got these ribbon colors on there. I could just add a little gold one to it or something, and I could add that to it. So we'll be working on that the next couple days and we'll get it done. Ah, yeah, I gotta get it done for, before, uh, let's see, Thursday I work again out at the valley. Um, Wednesday I watch Hank and Vivian again. So I got today and tomorrow to get this done. So we'll be working on it. Um, tomorrow I'll do that big sign on live, but I'll get this banner done today. And then um, tomorrow afternoon, after we get done with the big board, then I'll make a video of me switching it all out. Um, I have a lot of summer on there now, like this lemon and watermelon. And that choose happy signs are up there now. But after, you know, after a couple weeks or so, um, 
I'll probably change it back to that summer and maybe I'll wait till August 1st and then I'll put the summer back on and then I'll in September I'll change it to fall I think that's what I'll do so all right I better get busy and start cutting ribbons <laughs> so I will talk with you later bye bye thanks for watching